artists have always in some way engaged with these uh, urgencies in our world, but they've generally been looking from the outside in. A typical example is a very famous painting by Pablo Picasso when he painted Guernica in 1937, which was a response actually from a man sitting in Paris to what was going on in his homeland of Spain. This is a new age. If we're really going to be agents of change, we can't sit outside and just comment. As I started this master really with the question, how can I work with the people I want to give a voice rather than take their voice and put it in our product. So still, the theatre play is really important, but I found more ways to include the people I'm working with to make sure that they are part of it and feel part of it and are represented. It's a program for artists and educators that really want to see their practice as a means to change the world very explicitly. So, which is very different than most of other programs that I know where art kind of still tries to keep a certain autonomy. At EMI, it certainly is not like that. Our students work together and they learn together in the first phase of the programs, very much by building a community. We open up all sorts of different avenues of thought and challenge the students to consider who they are as an artist and educator. The second phase, we begin to reach out. And you can imagine the walls of the studio collapsing. In the middle of that, our students are lifted out of Arnhem and brought to Northern Ireland. The idea of that is to really develop their understanding of how art can enable change in real contexts such as Northern Ireland. And art has been used as a major force for peace building in Northern Ireland and it's been extremely successful. We share our knowledge, our perspectives of our own backgrounds and that kind of uh, gives me an energy to think uh, newly and approach with a different perspective. We have many tutors, so we have different opinions, which is exciting. It's like a gathering of different minds, different artists, and I receive that, and this is important. It's, it's not about changing my perspective, but challenging. Mm. For example, we will get into discussions and seminars about kind of our own experiences, and I think it's about experience, and that's the best way you can learn. I think I've learned so much more from my peers than I have in my own degree from my professors. It's more about how can I do things right now, and rather than think about what's the next big project, and. Um, thinking end goals. We aren't hiding ourselves away in the studio. We use the studio as an incubation where we start to develop ideas, but then we take those ideas out into the public space and engage directly with some of these issues head on. So it's very much driven by the urgencies of our world today.